We'll be focusing on education as a tool for national economic development. Uh, is the educational sector meeting the demands of the labor market? We've heard or you continue to hear every day that the kind of graduates we churn out from our universities do not meet employability skills. Sometimes when you ask a graduate to write just a letter or a proposal, you know, <laughs> Uh, let, let me just leave the rest of the matter. Uh, it's not that we don't have some graduates that actually are qualified, you know, but what is the degree and what is the percentage of graduates that we churn out in different disciplines? Are they meeting uh, the, dif uh, the different labor demand in Nigeria? What do we need to do to begin uh, to realign the educational sector in tune with the needs of the nation's economy. I do know in China, for example, in a year they could say they, they need 500,000 engineers and they tilt the educational sector to produce that for them. The same if they need doctors, and we've seen some other developing countries tuning or realigning the educational sector for the demands of the economy, especially in the 21st century. But here in Nigeria, we are seemingly not having an organized educational sector. Not until recently that we saw the introduction of uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, education into the um, curriculum. But what has that done? Uh, we need to realign our educational system. If you take a look at the data that we did put for you, let's. Uh, give you the data uh, now. About 7% of Nigeria's 8.6 trillion uh, Naira budget for 2018 is allocated to education. So we are seeing an allocation of about uh, 605 billion Naira of the total 8.6 trillion Naira of education. That is still less than the 26% as um, prescribed by UNESCO. Where do we go from here? About 11.5 million children are out of school in Nigeria as at February 2018. 27 states budgeted about 544 billion naira on the educational sector, which is a slight reduction from the 653 billion budgeted in 2016. Southern states, uh, except for AKT, Undo, Oshun, Enugu, and Ebonyi, budgeted around 376.5 billion naira for education in 2018. Now, Sokoto State is one of the few states to beat the UNESCO mark at 26%. Nations must give at least 26% budgetary allocation to education. In fact, Sokoto State is one of the few to beat UNESCO mark at 29%. So Sokoto State is, has a marked about 29% of its budget to education. The Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, did say that basic technical vocational education as well as teacher education are pillars of educational reforms in Nigeria. What should we begin to do? It's no longer news that um, Bill Gates, uh, the founder of Microsoft, did come to Nigeria, so I think about two weeks ago, and he did say that Nigeria should invest in education and health to raise human capital. And I've said it many times here on the show that a country cannot move beyond the capacity of its people. What are the capacities of Nigerians at this time? If you take a look at the number of graduates we churn out, if you take a look at the number of people that actually sit for jam exams all the time, how many are taken into the, uh, the educational systems or educational institutions? What do you do at this time? We've seen different hikes uh, from educational institutions. I think in the past few days, we've seen protests from students, I think in Undo State uh, University, protesting a hike in their school fees. We've seen all of that, even strike. What should the educational system in Nigeria look like? These, we are talking about the future of the country, educational system as a tool for national economic development.